Wono. I am a Cameroonian national, uh, but I'm really excited to be here at the European Parliament uh, to attend the Digital Agenda Assembly. I work at uh, Internet Sans Frontières, so Internet Without Borders, which is uh, an organization which uh, advocates for online freedom of expression, but we also uh, implement projects that uh, foster the use of internet as a tool for social change. So I am particularly interested in our future, in the future of our planet and the future of my continent and the future of the continent where I live in today, which is Europe, my continent of origin is Africa. Um, and uh, well, what I would love to see in, two, 20, in 2020, like we say, uh, is uh, a renewed relationship with, between those who govern for us and citizens. Specifically, I would like to see our governments being more transparent towards us, uh, using tools that are available today, such as ICT, for example, uh, and foster open governance initiatives. I am currently specifically working on a project uh, related to uh, uh, making available data, open data, on electricity supply in my country of origin. And I think this type of initiatives can help, you know, rebuild the trust between, in the case of, of the state, can help rebuild the trust between people who rule for us and ourselves who vote for people who rule for us. And it's important in terms of transparency, in terms of accountability, but mostly in terms of the social contract that we have with our governing bodies. Do you think that there can be a, a social contract, a new type of social contract, which is global, which is international between the citizen mm -hmm. and their whoever it is representing them in but, general? Because you are kind of coming from a continent and a, and a country which is non-European, but you live in Europe, so you must care about all these differences uh, and similarities exactly. and I'm wondering how do you see because we live in a global world this in developing in the future mm -hmm. so as a trend well I think uh, the the renewed uh, social contract between in a global world in a global scale between citizens and their governing bodies uh, well it, it is being discussed now for example well, in the digital agenda, I hope to see, really hope to see, uh, you know, a paragraph related to open governance and transparency, which is something really important to me. Uh, we, alre we already have, you know, institution, global institutions besides the EU, I mean, the UN, uh, well, several ones, uh, but it would be interesting for them as well, you know, to tell more citizens about what they do. Sometimes it's very complicated for us to understand uh, these complex institutions, how they work between each other uh, and what they do. Sometimes we don't even know what they do and that's why sometimes we complain as citizens saying, oh, we are paying taxes and we don't see what you know they're doing. Um, so yes, I think it's, it's uh, I really hope to see that in 2020, for example, well, uh, there will be, you know, um, multi-stakeholders committee where we were able to discuss you know the the where governing uh, institutions will give us accounts to citizens and discuss okay what would you like to see more done do you think this is a good assessment of the situation do you think we have done enough etc so yeah that's my greatest hope for 2020 among other great things of course but uh uh, yes, I hope uh, the discussion will go towards that. And the European is a really interesting. The European Union, sorry, is a very interesting example. I mean, uh, member of parliaments, for example, try to interact a lot with their citizens and try to, you know, report usually uh, often on what they do, publish the questions they ask, uh, publish the amendments they have adopted, and 
I think this is really important for the citizen to, to know that, okay, I'm not just voting for someone, but I'm voting for someone who is representing me, who is, you know, working for, to build a better environment for, my, for me as a citizen and for the state and the environment I live in. If you think about the children of the future, if you think about in 2050, the life they will have, what would be your biggest dream for them to happen by then? What would be the message to, <laughs> to pass? My biggest dream for them is to have, a, a, to be more open than I have been able to be open. You see, I am Cameroonian, I live in France, I used to live in Moscow. I wish my, my children will be, I don't know what nationality, maybe they will have plenty of nationality and they will be able to go, you know, wherever they want, uh, the easiest way as possible, encounter other citizens, uh, interact, exchange with them, because I truly believe I am the product of an exchange. and. I know that I'm getting better thanks to these exchanges. So I really hope that my children will be, I don't know, better citizens than I am because of that openness and because of their ability to, to encounter the others. Though, so that's my biggest wish for my children. Thank you very much. This was very interesting. Oh, great. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks Thank you. to you.